Okay, so I finally figured out a knee pad system that should work for us. These pants are 511 ABR Pro Pants, as you can see by my lovely sticker here. Um, I have a double knee front, uh, which means there's an internal pocket. Uh, somewhere here, yeah, internal pocket for knee pads. Uh, bleh, knee pads. Pretty cool, awesome stuff. It took me six months, but I finally found a system that works. There's a lot of pre-made systems. Uh, by system, I mean uh, pre-purchasable knee pads. Uh, 511 makes two or three different pairs. One that's very nice and uh, form-fitting to your kneecap when your knee is uh, compressed. But crap for anything else. It floats around in the pocket. It's terrible. Uh, I tried out some other ones like the, I guess the, the military pants, uh, BDUs and stuff nowadays have these. And there's a standard fitting one that's like this, uh, what's it called? It's the same material that you know, like diving suits are made out of. Um, and that was cool for a second, but way too thin and just, it's like 15 bucks for a pair of those. It's just, just worth time, not worth your time. Uh, who is it? Like Carhartt had a really cool kind of honeycomb-esque thing that bent with your knee. But again, it doesn't fit this pocket. It fits whatever other pocket. So it kind of just floated around a lot and wasn't ever where you needed to be. So if your knee's here when you're bent, when you're standing, when you're kneeing, uh, kneeing down, kneeling, uh, your knee might be like over here but the um, pad is still in the center. So your knees are here, missing the pad. It was just useless. So, all back, I came up with this idea, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. You go to your local Harbor Freight or other Chinese imports. Um, you get these really awesome anti-fatigue flooring mats. This one's already been cut up, so I'm using it for some other projects. Um, and these are like, Seven bucks for the coupon, I think, and you get four uh, nice puzzle pieces. Um, and this one was a roll one. The roll one's a little bit thinner. The puzzle piece ones, I think, are a little like three eighths, and this is I don't know what this is, but anyways, pretty cool. So real simple. And once you do this, you're gonna be like, "Wow, this is so dumb. Why did I watch a video on this?" Well, hey, it gives you an idea. So there you go. So first off, measure your pants. All right, we're a little bit higher at the top. We're about, what, eight and a quarter at the top, and we're about seven at the bottom. And we'll just do center top here. And we're about nine and a half tall. Okay. So. Quarter up top. Let me just do it this way. Let me smart. I swear I've done this before, I promise.
Okay. Then we can double this up later. We can actually just do this one go here. But let me show you how one is. And again, we are, was it seven at the bottom? Yep, seven at the bottom. So over three and a half at the center. Three and a quarter. Ooh. And we make up so a half and an eighth. Okay, so three and a half to a half, that's four. And eight to four and one eighth. Four and one eighth is our new center for the bottom. Okay, and then from there we got seven inches. So for the camera here, but that's a-okay. Still doesn't look at anything, right? Not too bad. Now you could be smart about this and actually use a consistent thing. Um, or you can just do this freehand like I do. Because it really doesn't matter, it's so cheap. Okay, now these are not terribly difficult to install. Just make sure you're somewhat in the right ballpark here. Okay, so these might need to go down a little bit. Because your pants do taper oh, towards uh, your leg. You need a little bit of an angle there. But yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, you don't have to worry about the top here not reaching fully top because this is going to bow out a little bit anyways. So it's sort of confusing the first time around, but don't worry. You take your hand, put the bottom, you'll find a little hole pocket. Pull the pant leg inside out. A lot of this is not necessarily pretty, it's just kind of force it in there and it'll work. Now you can decide if you want to smooth side out or textured side out. I don't really care. I'm gonna go a smooth side or textured side out. Again, small point at the bottom. So I think, yeah, this was it. Folding it up in half seems to work best. And 
It's foam, so it's crushable. So don't worry too much about it. Okay. And then now that we're in there, just hold the top end, put the bottom. The most important part is really just get the ends, the corners in place, and the rest will pretty much pop in place. Pull the pant leg back down. Bam! Okay. There's a little funkiness going on, but that's okay. Boom! Need to add down. And right now, it's our flat this day. Obviously, this is flat. But after a while, especially with you compressing your knees and so forth, it'll start uh, uh, taking a cylindrical shape with your leg. When you start compressing your knees, it'll start bending a little bit. And I really like this a lot because it allows it to bend real easily because you're got a thinner center. Um, but it's still these uh, arm shoulders, if you will, they keep it positioned at the right spot in the pant leg. A lot of the other ones, again, are kind of just, they fit your knee and they sit in the center maybe, and they kind of move around inside the pant leg. So when you bend down, when you kneel down, you have to like basically grab your pant, uh, your knee pad, adjust it, and then kneel down on it. Super silly and frustrating. Why not just leave something in there that does it all the time? Um, yeah, that's that. Real easy. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, this may not uh, solve everybody's problem, but just get you thinking about other things you can do. Uh, especially this anti anti fatigue foam stuff. There's a hundred things you can do with it. So and that cost me again like seven bucks. So woo. And remember, whatever's in your way, get over it and have fun.